All right, let's look at some of these deck boots and do a comparison. Here is some Grundens, $100. The Grundens deck boot, ankle deck boots. Then you go over here to the Huck. This is on Amazon. And they're $66 for the Huck. Now this could be because they're limited in sizes. Then you go over here and here's some extra tufts. Six inch mossy oak. Extra tough six inch ankle deck boots. And $115. As we know on Amazon, you really have to shop around because there's different listings for other things. Then we come over to the high C. Here's the high C. This is the ones I'm showing you. And their men's deck, boots, saltwater, fishing, booties, waterproof, ankle, $58.99. But as you can see, we got all different kinds of prices going on here. All right, all kinds of different prices, all different types. Here's a kind of little tutorial right here on Amazon. Fishing is a nice recreational activity, but just like a good rod and reel, you also need some good quality deck boots. Not only will they keep your feet warm and dry, but they also offer a complete freedom to walk in wet and muddy surfaces with the risk, with the risk, without the risk of skidding. I don't know what all that means, but I have through my looking around on Amazon. I have seen the high C, high C deck boots, and uh, that's what we're going to discuss today. Alrighty folks, I'm going to show you what high C provided me for review. This is the box they come in, simple box, nothing fancy. Uh, these are up to size 13s, and that's what I wear. I'm going to show you kind of a little bit of difference that I noticed. Is Here's a pair that I just showed you on Amazon. I've wore them a couple times here just to get a feel for them. These neoprene boots, this is neoprene wetsuit type of material it's quite thick kind of quilty inside okay if you've never had a pair of these boots before you'll kind of understand that the fact is they're slip-ons keep your feet dry keep your feet warm the first pair that I ever had I believe of these I did a video about them i think they were possibly the extra toughs it was years and years ago and i discussed how they're like sneakers so what you have is this type of bottom on them it says life is an adventure or nothing so high c and i wore them quite extensively the ones that i did have now these are a uh, rubber over the neoprene in the warmth of Florida. Me personally, I can't, I can't wear anything like this in the height of summer, of course. Even when it's really warm outside, these are going to keep your feet warm enough that for me personally, the, uh, the warmth is not great. Uh, these are for cold weather, in my opinion. A lot of guys wear them. They don't have any issues with their feet being kind of warm. This is the insole that is in them. Foam, 
a little extra padding in the places that matter. And not much to say about the inside. Very difficult to see on the inside. All stitched. And without this, you're standing on this hard rubber. I don't say I have feet issues, but I will have foot issues if I don't have the correct support, is what I've always found out over time. When I was wearing them, I felt, because I'm always... My, my street boots that I wear all the time have a bit of a heel, not a huge heel, but a bit of a heel. And these are, you're gonna be flat footed. People mention that they have um, this little kickoff guard right here on these. A lot of these boots do have that. I liked the lighter color, hopefully, because they're not gonna absorb all that heat they did send me these now this color and everything is more of what the old extra tough boots were like same same thing same bottom but if you notice this has a bit of a thicker toe cap on them so if you're wanting a little more durability maybe for kneeling down and having your foot hit you might want to try these brown ones versus these with the toe cap is the same color as the main boot and these aren't but these this toe cap you can see here is so much larger all right, and it doesn't have, it's on top of this band. So these may actually be just a tad bit more durable. Lifetime warranty. You activate your kind of warranty card on here and they claim that you're going to have a lifetime warranty. You can, Contact them on all these various places, Instagram, email, or literally a 1-800 number to activate your lifetime warranty. You get this card in here. Adventure Membership Card. When you purchase these, there's your card. You're invited to join the High Sea Adventurer totally free lifetime warranty earn points with purchase discounts and sales notifications premium custom service and become adventurer club member so obviously they're building in here where you're going to come back for additional pairs i'm almost wanting to do what Rose Anvil does. If you've never seen the YouTube channel, Rose Anvil, he does all kinds of boot and shoe reviews. He's in the leather business and he does these boot and shoe reviews. And what he does is he literally cuts shoes apart and boots apart to see what they're really made of all right so i can tell you there's just a little bit of padding of course lining on top of this and what he would do is he would figure out really how thick this is so as you wear these down how long will they last well, I'll tell you, from my experience, not necessarily with high C deck boots, but I wore these a lot, a different pair, different Grundens or, or no, extra tufts. My problem was, is in Florida, in the heat, where they bend, where I bent my toes here, 
right in here is from the heat and sitting out in our intense sun, they all cracked and they got dry rotted, believe it or not. And where, let's see. See these right here? That's, that was the bad point for the, for the prior pairs that I had. They would crack up in here and then all of a sudden water would be let in. But these seem to be made pretty durable. For the price, I'm sure these cannot be beat. Price on their website, you use the coupon code C-A-P-T, Captain, the abbreviation for Captain, C-A-P-T. Use the link below, which I'm going to give you their link on their website. You use that, you get an additional permanent 15% off on these high C boots. They go up to size 13. They've got men's, women's, and they've got all different kinds of boots besides these. So look below in the description and the first pinned comment, and I will put the inf all the information to send you to where you can look at these. Plus, as you saw, they're also on Amazon. On Amazon, I don't believe you're not going to get you're not going to be able to get the 15% off, but you will on their website. So let's just get a little foot footage here. One thing I'm a little surprised at, for some reason, this loop here on this boot, this loop is bigger than this loop. These loops right here need to be back here because I can barely, I just barely get my finger in there and here I don't even have to work for it. All right, so for taking these on and off it would be really good to be able to loop in here easier so these loops here should be reversed or at least this loop should be should be as large as this loop you don't use the loops in the front very often, but you use the loops in the back to pull them on. And then of course, you put your other shoe right there to pull them off. And that looks like that's molded right in. So it looks like it'll be pretty good. 